Hi there Virgo, this is Charlotte from or Char from Charlie's Angel Tarot and Millie is with me <laughs> and she's eager to listen and that is the mascot from Charlie's Angel Tarot. You will see her when you uh, come into the life on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. But this is your reading for the 13th to the 19th of July 2020 and you came in 7th with 24 votes. Thank you very much for your votes or likes and I hope you have enjoyed the reading last week and I hope you will uh, give me the likes or the, give the video the likes as well. They are really um, extensive this week and remember they are general so if it doesn't resonate with you have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign and cyber angels thank you very much I do appreciate it and if you are new and you just have happened to land on this channel then welcome please subscribe and hit the bell on all then you'll be notified when I go live or when new videos are uploaded when I go live I give away free cards and I also answer questions that are supported by a super chat or a super sticker but if you would like to have an extensive reading then by all means have a look at the details below this video um, uh, in the description box or uh, click on the white circle in the top right hand corner with the eye that will take you to the website and there you will find all the type of readings um, uh, that are on offer there will be a new one that's a crystal ball reading that is a crystal ball plus the tarot cards to clarify or verify what has been seen in the crystal ball and the oracle and obviously you'll get two readings for the price of one actually so perhaps you might be interested in doing that I have to still put it up onto the website I haven't had much time but never mind and I want to get these readings done for next week because next week Wednesday I won't be going live because I am away okay so let's get started and welcome 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 the last reading that I did that was for cancer and that was really a wow factor of a video so if you've got cancer in your zodiac sign because we are made out of planets and uh, uh, so other zodiac signs and planets and minerals and ether and mercury or mutual or fixed so have a look okay first of all my use my nine card spread that is what I also use in the extensive readings one-on-one -on -one. and this is the querent card or the overall energy card Monday Wednesday Friday Saturday and Sunday these are the clarification cards of the three tarot and the three tarot the clarification cards of the corner card the Lenaman. then I've got an extra card from the big arcana the white witch and then I've got Archangel Michael and the answer of the angels so we start off with the two of pentacles the two of pentacles means that you might be trying to balance your finances or you might be trying to uh, balance your health uh, because you know it takes a lot of energy to balance on a coin or a ball you might be just I've got a feeling with you Virgo you are trying to balance yourself between work and um, home or study and home okay I know I've got a long a lot of young viewers so please take that as a hint try to take time out I know you are young and you are trying to balance between school or college or university and home but don't burn the candle at both signs because if you do things in haste then you have to repent in leisure so if you don't listen to that advice you will have to repent you might have to take a couple of days of school and since you might have been in the lockdown you might have missed a lot of school you don't want to do that I know we had the lockdown and we couldn't party but please take it seriously and try to stay in balance so that you you remain strong and healthy 
okay if you don't take your um, the amount of rest that you need then you will be susceptible to um, illness okay now we do have the king of swords here so you might start a new study or you might be advancing to a second or third year in your study perhaps you have had to maintain the balance in the first year but this is two so I think you could be in the second year as well and perhaps you had to balance this second year with um, study and uh, school and home it was pretty difficult to uh, how do you call it to study at home because you might have been at home with younger people uh, in the family and they might be making a lot of noise and you found that pretty hard but I think um, clarity has come to you huh? and you have listened to your teacher or listened to um, a person that um, is a, a professional it could be a lawyer it could be a teacher it could be an advocate it could be a social worker somebody that has wisdom that gives clarity that passes on their knowledge their experience okay you might have had to com uh, com uh, communicate with different people because the swords stand for communication the swords stand for clarity the in speech and in general getting things clear getting things get honesty coming the truth coming out you might have to you might have had to do some research or write um, a write a thesis to make things clear to other people um, because usually you find um, the king of swords is Gemini and you usually find the air signs in uh, presentating jobs or teachers jobs or doctors, surgeons, um, uh, jurists, municipalities or institutions so um, I think you could be studying in for one of those vocations or careers uh, or you might be writing a book to bring your knowledge through to others or you might be studying to gain knowledge and to get professional so you could be meeting a Gemini because that's the king of air um, but don't exclude Libra or Aquarian perhaps you're trying to uh, balance your time between these two people if you're going out with one of them right Virgo then we're going on to the six of Pentacles again you might be receiving a gift now um, one of the other signs had it I think it was um, Scorpio Sagittarius um, they also I think it was Sagittarius they um, um, they were looking they were doing things with studying as well um, so if you have Sagittarius within you uh, your sign uh, rising or um, moon then have a look at Sagittarius because that came out as well that you might be getting money from municipalities or institutions a grant for studying for example or a grant to um, to start your own business wow that is really great and that is how you will be able to balance the study and the working if you get a grant because the six of pentacles in this deck does bring a little bit of the six of cups with it as well because of the ghosts somebody from the past might come in and give you a sign or give you an inheritance perhaps in the worst scenario somebody uh, passed away years ago could be a granddad or a uh, grandmother and they made a trust for you something like that or uh, they left money behind for when you became of age to go and study that that would have uh, that would come free and that is them coming back and showing you uh, but if this really happens to some of you then uh, this is them saying I knew you you were born you might not remember me because you were very small when I died or passed away 
or this could be an aunt that you haven't seen for a long time because they might live in a different country or an uncle and they're your godmother or your godfather and they're sending over a gift. Um, that's the Six of Cups. Uh, the Six of Cups means that somebody's coming back from the past and bringing you a gift. But in the Six of Pentacles it is that somebody that is um, more fortunate will be giving you a gift and uh, you, if you are less fortunate you'll be receiving it. You can see the two are exchanging. Now if it is a spirit that is uh, letting you know that they're back then uh, it could be a feather, it could be a penny, it could be a butterfly that keeps on following you or you see several butterflies at certain times of the day. Okay, now that is absolutely beautiful. So be open for spirits or de deities to um, show their presence. You are in a transformational period though. Um, although we have the death card, it doesn't mean actually death. But I was just I was didn't even realize that this card was lying here. But and I was talking that about people that have left this realm and gone up to the next. Some call it heaven. You and um, the death card really means a transformational period. You're leaving the old behind and you're going into a new period. You've got number thirteen. One and three becomes four. So there will be stability. You're going two, four, six. You're going up the ladder. You're climbing definitely in knowledge and life experience. You're going into a new phase. And the death card me, for me means no longer being the caterpillar, you're becoming the butterfly. So there you are, there's your butterfly. That could be your butterfly. But the death card also represents Scorpio. Scorpio, it could be a Scorpio that is significant or it could be a Scorpio that is giving you a gift because I'm reading it like that. It could be a Scorpio that's giving you the gift or it could be a Gemini that's giving you a gift or like I said a trust. If you're signing contracts look at the small print okay. You might be called into a notary public office or an advocate's office and they'll be reading you the testament. That could be it as well. You might have come of age. Now, on Saturday and Sunday you've got the Ten, the Ten of Swords. You might feel stabbed in the back and wow! Perhaps you might have backache, I don't know, that's the other side of the story because I do have backache at the moment and I think you might feel that you've been stabbed in the back. Let's take this scenario about you having a trust. Not everybody has a trust or somebody might have uh, made a, 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 um, a savings account, that's what you did uh, in the older generations. Grandmothers and grandfathers made a, a, a safety, uh, a savings account for their grandchildren so that when they became 18 or 21 they would have some money for lessons for the car or for the college or to buy their first car. That is what we did. That was a tradition. I don't know whether it is still today because money is quite scarce and everything is expensive and your parents didn't tell you about it. Perhaps you feel really boom overwhelmed and uh, stabbed in the back because they didn't tell you about it. Well if that is the case don't be like that. Don't think like that. Don't feel stabbed in the back because your parents didn't tell you you had a trust fund or an extra savings account. They took care of it for you. They wanted you to live life in reality and to experience life without knowing that you might have a little bit of extra. 
they have given you the biggest lesson in your life you might not realize it now you might be angry because we've also got the clouds but look at it from a learning a learning experience a life lessons they've given you one of the biggest and the purest lessons in your life that's why you found it hard to balance your finances but you managed it okay you were taught how this is the teacher coming out that is also an air sign mum and dads are also teachers they tell us how to they should tell learn us how we can balance our finance and come round um, make it work with what we earn because a lot of young people have to work and go to school and it's really tough well I'll give you a bit of news as well when in the olden days I'm 62 now we went to work when we were 14 and went to school I even went to school on a Saturday morning and that is only what 50 55 years ago you went to school Monday Wednesday Friday Saturday and Sunday uh, Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and Friday and Saturday morning we didn't have Wednesday afternoons off like they do in some schools or countries and in like in Spain for example they have two or three hours uh, free or in Egypt they call it siesta and they go to school for another two hours later in the afternoon or on a Saturday morning but in the olden days we were allowed to start work when we were 14 a lot of us that weren't fortunate enough um, to stay at school had to leave school and go into service like butler cleaner nanny and then we earned money and we had to uh, give it to our parents we didn't have any money so every generation there is something to learn and to learn to balance money so don't feel hard done by okay take it as a life a good solid life lesson and be thankful that you have parents that have saved it for you and that they have taught you how to balance your finances and get wise wow this is a good message and it's a hard message it's honesty you won't like it because it's reality and I'm not here to um, be airy fairy I don't like being airy fairy I like to be direct I like to be honest and I also like to bring real life lessons into the readings and if I can do that and if I can help one person with that then I will I will I've taught I'm a mother I've taught my children to balance their finances and their time and to think of themselves in but never to forget others okay okay you might feel left out but remember you might have been so busy working and balancing work and time and blah 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 that now uh, the summer holidays are here anyway now is an coming to an end as an ending coming yes there's end coming to difficulties so if we stay with this scenario that I just presented out of nowhere then now you've got the summer holidays and you've got know that you've got money coming in an extra so now you can might enjoy take some money of that and enjoy it and go camping or go on holiday with your parents okay or go and buy book school books that you need for the next year wow this is a magical reading really I know if you're young you don't want to hear this you want to hear are you going to meet the knight on uh, a knight in shining armor on the white horse and everything will be hunky-dory no life isn't like that and that is not 
those are not my readings my readings I hope I get information from within from my intuition and from my gifts and from the cards so I can let people know what the energy are around them and so they can decide for themselves what are you going to do with that energy if with that with these decisions they're difficult then ask for help ask your parent your father or your mother in this case ask a grown-up that you respect your teacher your father you get clarity and that's what the swords stand for learn how to balance from them don't argue with them okay okay but there is a new beginning and this beginning will be better because now you know you will have something uh, set aside and perhaps now you've been balancing your money but you've got your holiday money from your part-time job or from your job and you can put that aside you are definitely in balance good new beginning the first card from the corner you have the fish from the Lenaman and the fish from the Lenaman means that you can work well in groups but learn learn not to be used or abused learn to say no by showing your boundaries and knowing your boundaries let other people know what no is no and what your boundaries are this is the lesson of saying no okay and it's difficult to say no and once people know that they shouldn't over um, tread over your boundaries that is um, forcing respect from others I didn't know how to do that people used to say you have to force respect from others you can only force respect by staying cool and staying calm watch your intonation in your voice and how you say it no not at the moment I can't do that share the workload okay but learn to know learn that you're not always the one the piper that will play the pipe let somebody else play the pipe in the group start delegating show that you can delegate you've got the king of diamonds here which is the king of pentacles anything that you touch will turn to gold again we were talking about an inheritance okay that could, <laughs> uh, this reading is more about learning and setting your boundaries and how to deal with people and this will also help you in your career because the king of pentacles um, is a career man like all the kings really but he invests in something that he has um, uh, done a lot of research uh, on and that he knows that it will bring return again and again and again so that is why he's called the king of the meters touch 34 7 good luck so when you're um, signing contracts read the small print forewarned is forearmed if you don't burn the candle on two ends you will stay in balance and nobody can stab you in the back because you have gained a lot of knowledge and you know how to use it by saying no in a dignified and a beautiful intonation Wow. So you've got a 10, which becomes a 1, a 2, in balance. You're going up. Like I said, you're going forward. You've got the King of Pentacles, the King of Air. And you've got the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Hearts. Wow. You might even be meeting a man. A man that's nurturing, loving, caring, who knows how to... Um, 
love and be passionate as well a new beginning you might start a new passion you might start a new love now it could be love in love or it could be that you are in love with a, a typical vocation and you've chosen your vocation and that's what you're studying for a career a vocation is a calling and a career you're going to do what you want and this man you know he he's honest he's got this is one of the two men the other one is sitting there with a rose waiting for love to enter he's slow and he's he's too much up in his head um, you know so this man is thinking the way he's looking here is more sternly and stronger than the other man he is not dreamy he's looking at what he wants and he doesn't hide it that's why he's bare chested and it's also wearing the symbol of Mars and masculinity Mars is a planet but it's also the symbol of masculinity steadfastness if you are a lady you will be more steadfast you will be more businesslike like the king of swords sitting there writing his diary or telling his story or writing contracts being the lawyer whatever you have so many scenarios you but you know what you want and you're passionate about it 28 again a 10 uh, becomes a 1 so you've got a 10 10 next li lying next door to each other okay and you've got two sixes but I'm coming to that so the angels are showing you that they are there seven 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 I mean okay so you luck you have luck on both sides twice you're going to a better scenario you're leaving the old behind also a new beginning you've transformed yourself you've learned your lessons but you'll never stop learning until the end until you give up if you don't want to learn no you won't you won't get any pleasure because if you stop learning then you've closed yourself off so open that heart open the mind to new ideas be creative wow okay so you have will have found your balance and these through this transformation and this new beginning and ending wow it could be a new love walking in your life you might even get a proposal who knows somebody might just notice you not that you have a spotlight card here like the Sun moon or star but you have the news you've got the letter number nine again an ending whereas an ending there's a new beginning you've got the seven of um, um, spades so that's the seven of swords you know how to deal with uh, people that are not true usually the seven of swords means that something sneaky is happening that is why you've got this king of swords that could be your lawyer and also the warning if you're signing contracts look at the small print get somebody to check it out for you know your boundaries okay like I said the king of Pentacles he um, researches and he has to he is before he signs a contract or agrees to invest in something he makes sure that 95.9% uh, will uh, his investment will be returning and turning into gold so make sure if you're signing contracts official papers because the official seal is there make sure go to the advocate or go to the union or what and get your contract checked out don't be used and abused know your boundaries and let other people know that you know your boundaries and theirs okay you have news coming towards you could be official news there might have been an argument with somebody in the past and you might be getting news about this person wow because you have the clouds you might have had an argument 
Now usually it is short-lived, but because there is this lying here, somebody from the past could be coming back. Um, they might have made a mistake and, and they are saying sorry. And because you've got the King of Swords here, justice will be done. Okay, he stands for justice. Perhaps you might have hired somebody to sort things out and dig things uh, out because the King of Swords cuts straight through to the core and finds things out and does his research like the King of Pentacles. Now you've got the King of uh, Clover here, the King of Wands. He also sorts things out and he plans, he's logical, he's also creative. Okay, this is a message for you that you need to sort things out and take a man's stand. Stand your ground. Protect what is dear to you. Okay, this is really getting extensive, this reading. It's taking a life of its own again. Sorry, I had to get some water because I've been talking a half an hour now. This is really carrying on. I'm sorry. But justice will be done if you did get an argument and it wasn't resolved. You see birds here as well that in, in the olden days pigeons were used to pass on news. After rain comes sunshine. I think you've mended from the past. What if you somebody is coming back from the past? then you are in your strength because you are like all the kings you've nearly got all the kings here the king of pentacles the king of air the king of fire you haven't got the king of cups but um, you do have the ace of cups so you have got the four of elements this could be also interpreted for me um, as the masculine the masculine king of everything um, perhaps this is said wrongly the magician you've got all the elements you are the man whether you're a man or a woman you're getting more businesslike and you're not hiding any more anything you're not you're not you're not taking anybody's BS even if they've done you wrong you have found a way you have found a way to get your money and balance wow you will get in back into balance because you've got a six here and a six here balance wow this week the readings have mean been mind-blowing all over the place you can watch them one by one but they're really mind-blowing you've got the hierophant look at that the hierophant is a Taurus now we've got the earth sign here so a Taurus could be significant that could be your advisor that could be your legal person not only the king of swords Gemini ex and yeah or Libra or Aquarium prominently Gemini but this could be also all right not only uh, the uh, king of uh, uh, pentacles um, that is Taurus Taurus and the hyphen is Taurus okay no sorry I didn't um, this is the hyphen the high priest hyphen shaman um, it the the hyphen the high priest is the Taurus yeah, I'm getting the emperor, emperor mixed up with the Hierophant because in the traditional tarot they look a lot alike. One is the man of the church and the other is the king, uh, the, the emperor of all the other kingdoms, but they wear more or less the same costumes. This reading is really, really uh, the longest yet. The Hierophant is also a man of letter, the man of tradition, the man of the head of the institution. He's also got ice everywhere. He holds the key to conscious and consciousness. So that's bringing the consciousness into the conscious. Bringing in knowledge to daylight, your ideas. 
bringing your ideas, your research into the truth, getting the truth, getting to the truth. Ooh, justice will be done. It's more about justice this reading and getting clarity and the truth out than anything else. Wow. Okay. Now, the um, the hierophant also stands for uh, an advisor or a mature man with wisdom and life lessons, like a father figure. This could be uh, um, also a professional, like the King of Swords, like the Emperor, like the uh, the Hierophant. These three guys are more or less uh, the say have the same significance. So the truth, legalities. There might be something here to do with money that you're going to find out. Perhaps you've forgotten something and you're getting money back that you didn't know that you were uh, legally uh, right, you had the legal right to it uh, from the income tax. That's municipalities and institutions. Now, we've got the card of Archangel Michael. Positivity. The energy of words. What did I say? Say things, you catch more flies with sugar than with vinegar. Watch your intonation, okay? Watch your intonation. Watch the way you speak. Be charming. Take a page out of the air signs book. The energy of words. Be careful what you say. Archangel Michael requests a personal, thorough review of your inner mind. Mind card. Words have powerful energy. Use them wisely. Don't go to war. Use it wisely. Like the kings. They didn't become kings for nothing. Wow. The green is healing. You're healing from an old battle, perhaps. Okay? And this, if I did an extensive reading, that would be the past. This would be the present, and this would be the future. So you might have been hurt in the past, but you're healing in the present. You have big wow wow success. Exclamation mark success. Well, you can't expect anything else if you've got three kings and uh, 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 the Hierophant. Listen to your intuition and your ideas. These are men that think, okay, strategically, logically, and they don't, ju they don't, they don't act without thinking. They want to make sure they are sure of what they want. So go out there, strife, but and stay away from other people's dramas. Just get into balance and learn from mature people. I love you and take care. And remember the words of Archangel Michael and the angels. Success is yours. Ciao, ciao. Please like and share and I hope to see you in the live sessions. Give us the thumbs up. Thank you. Greatly appreciated. Ciao, ciao. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, have a wonderful day and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell on all and I'll see you in the life. Monday, Wednesday or Friday. Ciao, ciao.